Hello, and welcome back to this segment of TV Toastmasters. I'm your host, Joan Lubar. I'm with Toastmasters for Speaking Professionals. We meet in Lake Oswego Tuesday, the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month at noon, and there are many, many Toastmasters uh, groups around the area. So if you want to take a look at what Toastmasters offers you, you can go to toastmasters.org. Today I am so delighted to have with me a wonderful massage therapist, Nayeli Chuheki. Nayeli um, has a spa and clinic called Moonlight Therapies. So we're going to hear a lot about the benefits of massage, the different modalities she does, and some of her goals that I think you'll all be interested in. Well, welcome. Thank so you. delighted to have you here. Thank you for having me. And I'm, I am a massage lover myself. So <laughs> I want to hear so much about you and your business and how you got started. So let's start first with a little information about you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got interested in becoming a massage therapist. Yes. All right. Well, I am Nayeli. Um, I'm 26 years old and I've owned my own practice, Moonlight Therapies, for three years now. I got into massage um, when I was in high school. Um, I had an unfortunate event happen to me where I ended up getting sick and I couldn't attend school anymore and my doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with me and all my test results came back, you know, okay and it was just really rough. And then out of the stress from all of that, I ended up going to my massage therapist and told her about what was going on with me mm -hmm. and my symptoms and what I was going through. And I just needed a massage to just de-stress from all the pain <laughs> and all the painkillers. And she was just like, is it okay if I take a look at you? I'm like, sure, why not? My doctors can't figure out what was wrong. So like, I'm like, go for it. So she ended up giving me my massage. I couldn't lay on my uh, stomach for very long because that's where I was having pain. So she checked out like where my kidneys were and, you know, um, pressed in certain areas and asked me if it was tender or not and threw a bunch of questions. Um, later flipped me over and was like, can I check your stomach? And I said, sure, why not? So she went in and was just feeling around, asking me if I was tender or if I had pain or, you know, anything weird that I was feeling. And um, told her what was going on and what I felt and she's like okay she's like next time you go into the doctors have them check your gallbladder and I was like okay so sure enough two days later when I went to the ER due to pain I had my doctors check my gallbladder and test results came back positive I had gall gallstones and that was the cause of my pain and for five months I couldn't figure out what was wrong <laughs> but I was just really intrigued that she knew what it could be before my doctors did and just like knowing, just t just from touching me, knowing what potentially could be wrong with me was really intriguing and that's what kind of drew me into massage and from there I was like, this is what I want to do, like I want to do what she does, I want to like touch people and know what's wrong and have them get help and that's where I got into massage and right after high school I went to massage school and got my degree and have been working ever since as a massage therapist. That's such a great story. And you know, I, I think for all of us, we have a calling mm -hmm. and we just have to pay attention. And you certainly yes. got a great message from the massage therapist that you went to in high school. Mm -hmm. And look what's happened. So now I know you've been into massage for quite a while, but I also have a feeling that you have some goals with your clinic that you really want to have happen. So tell us a little bit about what your long-term goals are in terms of your business. Absolutely, so my long-term goal in the name, it's Moonlight Therapies, it's not Moonlight Massage because I don't just provide massages. There's a, a variety of things that I massage that are under massage, but um, you know, I do Reiki, um, which is definitely not considered massage. It works with energies and just balancing people's chakras out. So that's, I mean, 
still under massage, but it's not part of massage. And so I can't say it's moonlight, you know, <laughs> something else because it's not. It's therapies because I don't just provide massages. Um, we also do reflexology. Um, in, th in the long run, the goal is to be a clinic, like a full-on wellness center, which is why therapies worked great because I was thinking at the long run goal. Um, so I want to be able to work with a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, a nutritionist, um, you know, at people that are in like the medical field, but not so much Western medicine, more Eastern medicine. Well, that works very well along with Western mes medicine if people are really looking for mm -hmm. something. But uh, I love the idea of a wellness center. I've been thinking about that myself for a very long time. And I love your idea. Now, you now have your clinic in Selwood, is that correct? Yes, correct. Well, tell me a little bit about where that is and uh, is that going to be a permanent location? Do you have enough room to grow? Yes, I do have enough room to grow. I don't know if it's going to be permanent, but for, for a while it will be. Um, I definitely can expand there if I choose to, which most likely I will. <laughs> it's a very nice space. Um, I am basically located right next to Oaks Park. I'm right on the waterfront oh. inside a, of a business building called uh, Park Center, no, River, River, River Park Center. There we go. <laughs> What's the address? It's 205, uh, 205 Southeast Spokane Street, Portland, Oregon. I know exactly yes. where that is. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, and it's beautiful then. Do you get to look it out is. onto the park? Yes. Ah. I get to look at the view of the river. Oh, that's even better. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that's a great location. Yes. What a way to calm everyone down. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's very calming and as soon as you step out of your car, you do feel like, "Oh, okay, I can relax. This is this is a good area." So, and there's a park right next to it too in case people want to go and meditate after the massage or whatever or take a walk after their massage. It's just, it's really a great spot. That's great. <laughs> oh, well, Nayeli, that sounds just totally awesome. So tell me a little bit about your, where you grew up. Are you from this area? Did you move here from somewhere else? I know I'm a, a resident, but only for 18 years, and I didn't grow up here. So a lot right. of people come from other places. So tell us a little yeah. bit about where you grew up, and is this home, and what got you here? <laughs> All right. So I did grow up here. I was born originally in Mexico, and I was brought here when I was a year and a half. So I grew up here my whole life. Um, and then I grew, uh, I grew up in the uh, Gresham, Troutdale area. So I was mm -hmm. in the Reynolds School District. Um, yeah, and then I finished high school at Reynolds High School and then uh -huh. went on to do massage. Where'd you do your massage uh, study? I went to Everest Institute out in Tigard for my massage school. Ah, mm -hmm. well, excellent school from everything I've heard, so yeah. that's great. <laughs> and I understand you have more than just yourself in your clinic. I do. So I am the owner, I'm the boss, both at home and at work. <laughs> Nice to be an entrepreneur. Yes, very nice. <laughs> and I have my brother and my boyfriend working for me as well. So. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a nice little group, as long as you all get together. Yes, we all get along. <laughs> we all love working with each other. We do bicker every now and then, obviously, because we are family. But um, at the end of the day, I am the one who calls the shots, whether they like it or not. <laughs> oh, spoken like a true entrepreneur. I love Thank it. Thank you. Well, is there anything else that you want to tell us about your goals and things that you want in your life? Um, I'm not <clears throat> sure. That's a great question. Um, I do want to keep growing. I do want to keep doing what I do. Massage is my calling, and I want to be able to help more people out, um, you know, through touch, through massage. Well, tell us a little bit about some of the clients that you've had, maybe a story or two about ways you've helped them. Oh, okay. Here's my favorite one. <laughs> um, there was, I have a client that I still t see today, and uh, he's been my client for about four years now. And when he was in high school, he was in football and tore his Achilles tendon. Mm. He had to get that reattached, and he can walk. He's fine now, but he did a lot of rehab work, and he always went for massage, and um, he found benefit from it, but 
you know, he needed more therapeutic massage than relaxation. And then he came across my table and I worked on him and I was like, you know, um, he has a shorter leg mm -hmm. and it's just from the, from, um, the shrinking of his Achilles tendon. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not hip issue. Um, if your hips are, um, sometimes genetics, if your hips are smaller or if there's, um, a what's the word for it? An imbalance in your hips, it can cause a shortness of a leg. If it's bone, we can't really help with that because it's genetic, but if it's muscle that's causing the shortness, we can fix that. And so he was telling me about his short leg and I told him, well, let me see if I can help you out with that. By the end of the massage, I got his short leg to be the same length as his regular oh, leg. Oh, what an awesome yes. story. And then he was like, I can't believe it. And I was like, I can't believe it either. <laughs> But he came to see me ever since after that, and he was like, you have a special gift, and you can fix people. And I'm like, oh, wonderful. I don't fix people. I help people out. Yeah. Yeah. And now I got, I've got, i gotten to the point where I can um, get his short leg to be longer than his normal leg, and then it slowly decreases to, you know, be the, the same length as his, as his regular leg. And then when it gets short, he calls me back up, and he's like, hey, can you work on me again? My short, my, my leg is oh. shorter. <laughs> Well, that's wonderful. I think you should sign him up to come every month. He does. He does. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, many of our viewers may not know a lot about massage. So how mm -hmm. about telling us a little bit about the benefits of not just massage, but some of the other modalities that you use and some of the modalities that they may not be familiar with as well? Yeah, absolutely. So the benefits of massage, most and foremost, is a de-stressor, to de-stress your body. Um, also, I like to mention that massage is not a luxury, it's a necessity, because we use our bodies, and our bodies, once they're broken, you can't, it's hard to get them fixed. Um, our bodies are like, like our cars, and we usually take our cars to Jiffy Lube every three months or so to get, you know, an oil change or tune-up or whatever, but Personally, we don't do that with our bodies. And if our bodies break and we're like our car is like, um, it's a lot, it's more expensive to fix your own body than to fix your car. So it's a necessity, not a luxury. And I know some people can't afford to get massages yeah. once a month, but I have tons of specials. So I make it as affordable as I can for people to come in and see me and get the de-stressor that they need. That's nice. That's that's really awesome. So tell us about some of the modalities that um, people would use, uh, would come to get a session with. Most of the time, with me, it's deep tissue mm -hmm. because I am a strong woman. <laughs> <laughs> um, so most people see me for deep tissue because they like the pressure of my massage. Um, deep tissue just means that we are working a little bit firmer in areas to get to the deeper muscles um, in your body. Swedish massage is relax is the most basic um, modality there is out there and that's what most people get. It's a Swedish massage which means it's just flowy and it's relaxing and it's just to help um, your blood flow and get everything circulating so that you're nice and relaxed and you can you know sleep better at night. Um, another modality that I do is hot stone which means that I use hot stones to do the massage. Um, hot stones work really well with tight muscles that aren't wanting to let go and are being stubborn. When you use heat, um, it helps the muscles just relax a lot further and you can get into the deeper layers of the muscle without having to use your hands or so much pressure. Oh, I had a, a question about, oh, you mentioned reflexology. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, so reflexology is a Chinese medicine that is used in West, Western, in Eastern medicine, mm -hmm. and it's basically doing pressure points in your hands or your feet. Um, sometimes the ears, but not a lot of people know how to work on the ears. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just basically points in your in your hands. I do. I like to use feet better because that's what I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but every point in your hand is um, is a referral point or is an actual point on your actual body. Mm -hmm. So um, I honestly don't know hands very well, but like for instance, let's say this, if you press on here, um, you are pressing on your eye. And sometimes people, I, my boyfriend actually um, 
not scares me, but um, surprises me with his knowledge of reflexology because he's the one who does reflexology the most out of us three. And he's always like, oh, are you having stomach pain when he's pressing on my stomach and my feet? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, actually, my stomach wasn't feeling very good this morning. He's like, okay. He's like, yeah, you seem like you're a little bloated just from pressing on my foot. And I'm like, all right, okay, what else can you tell me? And so he's like, do you have a headache? I'm like, no, but you're starting to cause one. And he's like, okay, that's what I'm feeling. So, yeah, and, and it's basically just points in the, in the hands and feet, in the hands and feet mm -hmm. that um, correlate to your actual body. Well, I know I've seen the little uh, pictures yes, the of charts, feet. The with, reflexology charts. Yes, and it shows you all the different places. Mm -hmm. And I know that sometimes you touch a certain point and you go, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I know that it relates to some organ that you have to be aware of. Yes, yeah. So, so it's basically your organs. Um, it refers to points in your it, it, of your organs. Um, and then, yeah, sometimes people... Um, if you're a smoker, we can tell just by touching on your feet. Your feet also give us clues or indicators if you're a smoker, if you have, you know, certain habits. Um, if there's anything internally going on that you might not know, we pay attention to that. And if we see something that's concerning, we do let the client know, like, hey, um, I found something that was a little, you know, out of the ordinary. Maybe you should go check, get checked out by your doctor or something. So. That's, that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, you just have a wealth of knowledge, and it sounds <laughs> like you're continuing and wanting to learn more and more about uh, different modalities. So are there any other, yes. other ones that you're looking to learn as time goes on? Um, do you want to add to your repertoire? <laughs> at the moment, I'm not really sure. I do take a lot of continuing education classes uh -huh. that revolve around therapeutic work specifically. Uh -huh. um, and aside from there, I'm not finished taking my courses. There's, um, there's six intensive courses that I'm um, needing to take in order to be certified to do ther like medical massage. Uh -huh. So, And that's what I'm working on right now. Oh, well, mm -hmm. that's terrific because <laughs> I think medical massage... I know for myself, I've had medical massage before, and it has helped so much. Yes. Of course, I like just getting an old massage. Yeah. It feels so good. A lot of so people like good. to sleep, yes. but when there's injuries or there's aches and pains, it's my job to figure out why, um, why it's there and what's causing it and get to the root of the problem. Oh, well, that's terrific. Well, I, this has been just so much fun. So tell us a little bit, you know, how people can get in touch with you. Absolutely. So the best way to reach me is by phone. Um, call or text. I usually respond faster to text messages as most of the time I am in massages and I can't answer my phone right away, but I can respond to a text message very quickly. And um, you can reach me at 971-772-8322. Would you repeat that one yeah. more time? 971-772-8322. Well, great. I am I think our audience will be happy to know your name and your um, clinic and just want to find out more about what you're doing. Yeah. Um, yes. People can also um, book online um, at, on my website at moonlighttherapies.com. So moonlighttherapies.com. Yes. yes, well, that's that is my great. website. That and it's got all the info you need and prices, mm -hmm. and, you know, you have the ability to um, book online as well. Well, I'm so delighted to be able to have spoken with you. I really want to thank you so much. Uh, you're the first interview for, the, for me in the Gresham studio, so this is just a great opportunity. And I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and looking forward for your coming to another segment and joining us again. Thank you again for being with us. Again, I'm Joan Lubar. I'm known as the Sassy Sage and um, with Toastmasters for Speaking Professionals in Lake Oswego. And I wish you a wonderful day. Have a story that others need to hear? Seeking an audience for your message? Have an experience that can transform the lives of others? Practice your message and perfect its delivery in a TV studio while creating content for regional, national, and international exposure. That's right. Get seen by an ever-increasing audience. Visit TV Toastmasters.
Hi, I'm Deb Hart. I'd just like to share with you how appreciative I am of being able to be a TV Toastmaster host. I get to share stories within the community, have people come on the show and educate the viewers, and talk about a subject that I'm very familiar with, and that's health. I encourage you to come aboard and be a part of our TV Toastmasters Host Club. It's fun. You'll have a good time. My name is Charles Shamry. I'm going to TV Toastmasters as an associate producer. I've been involved with the Portland, Salem, Beaverton, Oregon City locations for TV Toastmasters. TV Toastmasters has enhanced my ability to speak in front of a room. Not only that, but has also enhanced my ability to speak in front of a TV audience. Hello, my name is Beth Genley, and I am this year Vice President for Education for Toastmasters for Speaking Professionals, which is a club that I love. Through that club, I became acquainted with TV Toastmasters. I got interviewed here a few times and began to learn how to speak to a camera and how different that is from speaking to a group, how to connect with an audience that I can't see, and how to stay focused on a camera that is not talking back to me or smiling. After I did that a few times, I was invited to become an associate producer here, and now I'm bringing people from my club and other interesting people to TV Toastmasters each month and finding out wonderful stories and fantastic individuals who are contributing a great deal to our community. It's been a great ride. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next year will bring as TV Toastmasters continues to be the voice for District 7. Hi there, my name is John Rodkey. I'm the Program Quality Director for District 7 Toastmasters. In my role as a district officer, I get the opportunity to help support over 3,000 Toastmasters and helping them become better communicators and leaders within their communities. With that awesome opportunity, I also get a new one today to be with TV Toastmasters as they are helping televise the voice of District 7. Ken Coombs here speaking about TV Toastmasters. As an area director, I see more value in that venue than perhaps some of you do, so I want to share that. Providing a televised voice for District 7, its clubs, and their members not only gives people a chance to come here and get a project ticked off that says, speak on television, it gives contestants in an area contest or a division or a district contest at least a chance to come and practice and see what they look like. It gives people a chance to share an important message with the district, whatever that might be. So consider your next speech perhaps being on television. Not your 15 minutes of fame, but your chance to reach a broader audience. Hello, my name is Christopher Taylor and I'm with TV Toastmasters. My home group is Feedbackers out of Beaverton, Oregon. When I first joined Toastmasters, I didn't know what to expect. I was nervous, I was scared to speak in front of public, and I needed some help. Joining Toastmasters did a lot of things for me. First of all, it gave me the confidence to get a job. Second of all, I quickly climbed the ranks in my job. I got a speaking role with my company. And it didn't take long before I was giving executive briefings. I began managing the Berkshire Hathaway account, which is a Fortune 2 company, and I now give executive briefings to the C-level executives for the Berkshire Hathaway family. 
And I could not have done that without Toastmasters. Thank you. I joined Toastmasters to improve my speaking, listening, communication, and leadership skills. Toastmasters gave me incredible confidence. 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 Great listening skills. Poise. Great leadership skills. Leadership skills. The ability to speak in public. Strength. A captive audience. Quality feedback from the more experienced Toastmasters. Toastmasters really helped me improve my listening skills. Sales skills opportunities to go to different groups and widen my whole horizon. Toastmasters has given me a better, a more focused me, and I'm a much better listener. Toastmasters is fulfilling. It's a great place to fail your way to success. Wonderful way to meet people. Networking. Strength. It's addictive. It's a club of self-improvement. It's an experience, it's a ride that you won't forget and you'll enjoy it every step of the way. Toastmasters helped me land a kick butt job. I sang at one of my table topic speeches and people liked it and applauded. My business is doing great and I'm very, very grateful to Toastmasters. It's been a great experience for me. Thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Toastmasters, for giving me so much confidence. Thank you, Toastmasters, for everything. As part of TV Toastmasters, I am f helping to fulfill a mission to be the voice of various clubs around District 7 and Toastmasters International. My home club is New Horizons Toastmasters, but I'm also part of this club because I believe in the mission. I believe that Toastmasters has a real true opportunity for many people to help improve their lives, to improve their personal lives, to improve their interpersonal skills. I truly am grateful to be able to participate to help New Horizons and other Toastmasters find their voice through TV Toastmasters that is broadcast through the greater Portland area and Salem area. I look forward to more opportunities to be the voice and to be the conduit of the voice of many other clubs and many other members of Toastmasters as I continue my participation in TV Toastmasters. Hi, I'm Eric Bergman. As a member of TV Toastmasters, I get to learn all about video production, running a TV show. Plus, I get to be on camera interviewing really fascinating Toastmasters who share their stories about their hobbies, their activities, and how they benefit our community. I also get to bring in members of my home Toastmasters club, We Toasted in Lake Oswego. They get to tell their stories and build their communication skills. We're bringing a voice for District 7 Toastmasters here in Oregon and Southwest Washington to a TV audience. And TV Toastmasters is a great way to learn how to spread your message and share your stories with the wider audience. 